Sometimes sports fans forget that having star players is only half the recipe to success. You need a mastermind head coach to put all the talent together if you want to win games. Unfortunately, some very talented sports teams don't seem to get the idea that they would be a lot better with a new coach. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we dive into 10 sports teams that would be better if they had another coach. And a big shout out to Bama Pride 1 for suggesting this list. We do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10 Atlanta Hawks It feels weird putting Atlanta here. Given their bench boss, Mike Budenholzer has done a remarkable job. The 2015 NBA Coach of the Year took Atlanta to the playoffs in his first seasons, including a 60-win campaign in 2014-15. But the Hawks haven't had much playoff over the years. Despite making the postseason every year since 2008, they've advanced past the second round just once. Budenholzer was brought in to change their playoff fortunes around, and it's not happening. Anyone remember the Tehran Lou effect in Cleveland? Atlanta may want a new voice to put them over once and for all. Number 9. Houston Texans The Texans have enjoyed plenty of success with O'Brien, as he led them to winning seasons in his first three years on the job. This included AFC South Division titles in 2015 and 16. That being said, O'Brien hasn't found a half-decent quarterback in Houston, wasting an elite defense led by J.J. Watt. Houston has tried a handful of QBs since O'Brien took over. The former New England Patriots offensive coordinator is supposed to be a mastermind on offense. It's not working in Houston. A Kyle Shanahan-type offensive coordinator would be the final piece Houston needs to finally be a contender. Number 8. Toronto Raptors Okay, here is out Raptors fans before you go crazy. The Raptors are good because of Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan, not head coach Dwayne Casey. Must we remind you about the miserable seasons Casey had in his first two years on the job in Toronto? Or their first round playoff exits in 2014 and 15, despite being Atlantic Division champions? Come on now, the Raptors players are good. But Casey is not a coach that will outsmart Teron Lu or Greg Popovich. His defensive strategies are horrible, and the Raptors would be better off bringing in a more seasoned veteran to run this otherwise extremely talented team. Number 7. Cincinnati Bengals Marvin Lewis began coaching the Cincinnati Bengals in 2003. It's either been terrible seasons or playoff seasons that mean nothing. No, seriously. The Bengals made the playoffs under Lewis in 2005 and 9, and every year from 2011 to 15. They went one and done in every single one of those playoff years. Might want to find a head coach who knows what it takes to win in the playoffs, no? Number 6. Washington Nationals The Nationals entered 2015 as the World Series favorites, but missed the playoffs and fired manager Matt Williams as a result. They hired Dusty Baker, he of over 1,700 career managerial wins and counting. But after the Nationals lost to the Los Angeles Dodgers in the 2016 NLCS, it dropped Baker's playoff managerial record to 21 and 29. There's something about Baker and the playoffs that don't work at all. We believe in trends here, and the Nationals won't go far if Baker remains their manager. Number 5. Kansas City Chiefs The Chiefs were the NFL's worst team in 2012, so they hired former Philadelphia Eagles head coach Andy Reid to lead the squad. Through his first four seasons in KC, Reed led them to a 43-21 record with three postseason berths. Problem is, Reed is far too conservative when it comes to the playoffs. Do people forget his mediocre 10 and 9 playoff record with all those elite Philadelphia Eagles teams in the 2000s? Reed is always outsmarted in the postseason because he doesn't let his offense explode. He believes in the old-fashioned way of running the ball and relying on your defense. Face it, KC, a more aggressive head coach is probably the better option. Reed isn't a winner in the playoffs. Number 4. Arsenal FC Arsene Wenger deserves a lot of credit for success with Arsenal FC. Since taking them over in 1996, Wenger's squad won the Premier League title in 98, 2002, and 2004. But over the years, Wenger has failed to maximize the talented rosters he's had. From 2005-06 to 2015-16, Arsenal finished in the top two just once. With their rich history, passionate fans, and talented players, Arsenal should be competing for EPL titles, not for third place. He's been there too long, and a change is simply Arsenal's best option. It's another case of, what have you done for me lately? Number 3. Winnipeg Jets The Jets have been loading up on top 10 draft picks for many years now, and they've seen some young stars grow. Mark Scheifele is on his way to being a top 10 forward. Patrick Lene is going to score 50-plus goals a season for the next decade. The team has plenty of quality veterans, too, including standout defenseman Dustin Bufflin. But head coach Paul Maurice isn't the answer in Winnipeg. Because of a successful interim stint in 2013-14, the Jets kept him around. They barely got into the playoffs in 2015, only to be swept in the first round. In 2016-17, the Jets were once again among the worst teams in hockey, unacceptable for their talent level. Too bad they don't seem to like the idea of a new coach. 
Number 2 Chicago Bulls The Bulls made a huge mistake in firing Tom Thibodeau, who turned them into an Eastern Conference juggernaut. Thibodeau coached Chicago from the 2010-11 to the 2015-16 season, compiling to a 255-139 and record. Chicago's defense propelled them to a 62-win season in 2010-11, plus a pair of 50-win seasons, but he was fired in 2015, following the Bulls' second-round elimination in the postseason. Chicago replaced him with Fred Hoiberg, and Chicago went just 42-40 and in 2015-16 and missed the playoffs. Thibodeau made the Bulls a juggernaut, even though star Derrick Rose kept battling knee injuries. They're a mediocre team now, and firing Thibodeau may be something they regret for a long time. And number 1 Indianapolis Colts when the Colts hired Chuck Pagano in 2012, it was expected that he would take time to rebuild them into a contender. While the Colts went 11-5 in 2012, 2013, and 2014, they reached the AFC Championship in 2014 as well. Pagano appeared to be on the brink of delivering a Super Bowl to Indianapolis, but the Colts went just 8-8 eight eight in 2015 and 16, missing the playoffs altogether. The offensive line failed to protect star quarterback Andrew Luck, and the defense was awful. The Colts really just needed a new leader to work with this talented team, but they're too committed to Pagano. How much longer does this have to go on for? What other sports teams would be better with other coaches? Join us in the comments section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.